by blood. Uh, I think uh, I have been building retail and building brands for, for almost 25, 26 years. Uh, so that's why I say retail is in my blood. Uh, for the longest part of my uh, journey in retail, I have been uh, a brick and mortar retailer. And a few years back, uh, you know, I decided uh, that I need to take a dip into uh, internet e-commerce and therefore I moved uh, into e-commerce. And so while a person who has spent almost two decades in uh, brick and mortar retail and then getting into internet e-commerce, one thing I have realized that you cater to the same customer. What happens is that in this very dynamic landscape, the customer behavior is changing, right? How he or she has started consuming uh, a big shopping uh, habit is quite different from what it was now. The goal of brand is to ensure that whether it is offline, whether it is online, this serve to whatever lifestyle the consumer wants. Yeah. So what is important for online customers to ensure that they give that unparalleled experience to their customers uh, on their platforms is just to replicate the offline experience into online experience. Right? Uh, I will take some examples uh, you know, during my brief talk on how things have happened and we'll work on that. So ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, my esteemed colleagues, good morning. Uh, the whole agenda is set. Uh, we will be speaking a lot about digital, its applications, what is happening in the country. Uh, I'm interested uh, to set a tone on how the entire day will begin and also just to talk about that how do we bring that experience in online customer through digital and through tech interventions. So we are not just the observers, right? We are the participants uh, into this entire global uh, so-called internet and e-commerce evolution. Now, this is one of the latest data that I could put together. And we see out of a total population of almost 8 billion, there are 69.7% okay, who are the unique mobile phone subscribers. Just look at the size of this information. So 5.44 billion people around the world, okay, were using the internet at the start of April 2024, which is 67% of total population, right? Social media users, users also continue to grow. Uh, almost 54.8% of internet users aged 16 to 64 buy something or the other online every week. There is also one data point which shows that on an average, a social media user spends about 2 or 20 minutes every day, okay, on various devices. And an average, and an average shopper across the world spends close to about $1,000 a week on online. So, just this entire stats show that where the whole world, okay, is moving is going, okay, when it comes to online, online activities, internet, internet commerce, right? This is, this is something which is mind boggling. Now, this is something which is, uh, you know, which is very f kind of, you know, f favorite topic for me to talk about, which is the India stack, the India story. Let's look at this, what's happening in India, right? And, and also, uh, for all those people, you know, who are there in this country, in this environment for last 10 years, 15 years, okay, just think. 
Our total population, 1.44 billion. The so-called social security numbers, right, across the world we hear. I think 10 years back we know what is the status, 12 years back. Today, 94% of Indians hold a social security number which is Aadhaar card. Right, that is the growth. It's not a small job okay, to bring Aadhaar card to 94% of the population, which is growing at the rate of 1.56%. Right? Now, let's see, interesting. Number of internet users, 63%. 0.9 billion smartphone users, 0.66 billion social media users, 0.53 billion. Can somebody tell me what is the population of United States? Right. So, each of these three are individually more than the population of United States. This shows what is the size of consumption and the opportunity this country is sitting on. Right? So we are just starting, we have just taken the first step. There are a lot of things which are, you know, being done by government sector, by private sector, right? But this is mesmerizing. Yeah. So accessibility uh, of in inexpensive smartphones. So US has more than 99% of penetration of smartphones. Indian pen penetration is also increasing day by day. I don't have the exact number. But we all know that data is cheapest in this country. Right? I think one of the cheapest data available is in this country. Then we spoke about Aadhaar. Uh, we'll talk something about on uh, UPI payments as well. But uh, let's see this uh, online shoppers already talking about 1.18 billion. Now, this is the India decade, right? Since 2013, what has happened? Let's read. The mix of digital payments have moved from 10% to 20% in last seven years, right? In 2023, there has been 84 billion UPI transactions in this country, yeah? We are saying that there will be more than 900 million, almost a billion mobile wallet users by 2025-26 and there will be 220 million online shoppers in India by end of next year. Okay, by no standard, uh, this is it. Sometimes you, you might see that, key, you know, you can actually club five European countries, okay, and they together will not be able to uh, give this kind of consumption, yeah. Uh, two important data points again uh, before we go ahead. So according to a survey conducted, around 79% of the households in India have used some or the other kind of third-party digital payment apps like Paytm and PhonePay. 79%. We know how many metros, mini metros, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 cities we have in this country. We are talking of 79%. And second, which is again a very, very important data point for digital, right? According to uh, one market report, the digital India payment market was valued at 1.4 trillion in 2021, 1.4 trillion dollars in 2021, and is expected to reach 23.2 trillion at a CAGR of 25% in next 10 years, eight to 10 years. Now, just imagine that if we are talking of a 20, 25 trillion dollar digital market, what, what is that scope that every brand is sitting on, right? What is that kind of pie okay, that we want to pick up okay, from, this, from this entire data set? So, India is moving, world is moving. Let's see what we can do. So before we go ahead, uh, you know, I also wanted to actually just uh, talk a little bit about what is happening, uh, you know, to the digital behavior and, uh, you know, what actually goes into the mind of a digital customer. So the, 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 this, this whole digital customer thing is redefining in the way uh, the whole market dynamics in this country. Right? In the recent past, we have seen a significant shift uh, from people buying uh, offline to uh, online. And e-commerce platforms have you know, started making it more convenient day by day uh, for the customers okay, to shop from the home. 
I'll give you one more example, right? And this is a real life example. And one of my colleagues, he told me that uh, he left his uh, Apple charger at office. Yeah, while he left his office at around uh, 9, 9.30 in the evening. He was working for a presentation and uh, uh, he reached home and it was like really raining heavily and he wanted to, you know, have a dinner and start working again. And so around 11.50, 11.30, he realized that uh, he has forgotten his charger at office, right? And he desperately uh, wanted that iPhone charger because it was important, he didn't have internet, he wanted to connect. So he actually browsed through one of the quick commerce site, okay, and placed an order uh, for a Apple connector. And he said it was pouring, right? It was raining like cats and dogs. And he said, I had very less optimism about getting this. And I really wanted to understand what do I do? And he says, to my big surprise, in 10 minutes, there was this guy, you know, in raincoat, fully drenched, standing in front of my door with an Apple charger. So this is what India is going through, right? The whole quick commerce, the way it is actually changing the consumer buying habit, shopping habit, so different. I, th I think, you know, for a lot of us, okay, for a lot of your uh, families, for your moms, okay, what we had done initially, right, we used to sit on first of every month and make a list, right, uh, wheat, rice, uh, you know, oil, soap, salt, right, you know, and then we'd make a, make a list and then we go and, uh, you know, one day to one of the marts or food market and buy. What is happening today, right? You, so forget the, forget the Gen Z and the early time millennials. Today you don't do that, right? You don't, you, the Gen Z tell their moms, why are you doing this? Don't make this list. What do you want? This? Okay, tuck, 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 tuck. Five minutes salt has come. Five minutes, oh, oil is over. Tuck, 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 tuck. Five minutes oil is home. So, the, the internet e-commerce companies are changing the whole landscape of, you know, how business is being done in this country and online. Uh, they're spoiling the customers, right? I'm included. Uh, but this is, this is how the whole reshaping uh, is happening in this country. And uh, the, the customers want, you know, a lot of personalization. Uh, they have... They want direct communication, they want clear communication, they want data security, right? They want their personal uh, information not being given out. So a lot of these things, okay, are important in, uh, you know, in online e-commerce. And the last example which I want to take is about luxury, right? Now luxury is one of the biggest example in this country, okay, which is being shaped by online. See, uh, for all those, okay, who, who have done some work or are consumers of luxury in India, how many places, how many luxury malls are there? Two, three, four, that's it, right? In a country of 1.44 billion, there are only two, three billion malls, okay, where luxury stores are there. Long back in India, luxury stores were only in five-star hotels, right, for many, many years. Now, there are two or three malls. How much, what percentage of population can this serve? Very difficult, right? I want to give you one more data point. 57% of the wealth of this country lies in tier 2, tier 3 and tier 4 cities. Okay, higher wealth is lying in tier 3 and tier 4 cities. But there is no accessibility for luxury. So once luxury has started getting into e-commerce, Okay, it has democratized the entire access. I can tell you something about Tata Click Luxury. We serve more than 20,000 PIN codes in this country. And while we sell a lot of products, which are $1,000, $2,000, they are ordered okay, from places from where the nearest luxury mall would be 500 kilometers. So that's how the whole landscape is changing in this country and how consumers are redefining what do they want, right? The other thing, you know, again, we did discuss uh, the whole penetration of mobile, okay, is redefining the consumption again. 
okay there is a significant shift i think we are still waiting for a better 5g connectivity but that when that comes in data is already cheap in this country so it is going to be again a big revolution but what i wanted to say here is the omni channel experience for the brand it's very important to give the omni channel experience you cannot think of giving a an experience to the customer when he or she is visiting a store which is physical or visiting a store which is you know online so i think through tech interventions through digital technologies we have to ensure that we provide a very similar experience to the customer and a lot of things which will be driven by data okay are going to help us in future to do that so let's see you know which are the which are the things which actually shape up uh, the internet e-commerce there are many more things there are many experts okay uh, sitting here in this room there will be a lot of interesting panel discussions which are going to happen i, I really don't want to get into that i'm not in, not a super expert as many of you are sitting here okay but whatever i have learned i can say that uh, these are the few things ai and ml okay ar and vr internet of things cyber security sustainability are extremely important yeah so let's say uh, with ai and ml okay we are bringing a lot about how do you know customers how you make your analytics stronger how do you say that you know i will understand you better and i'll understand you better in how you behave with us okay and how do you how do i make myself better with my operational efficiencies overall ar and vr i really want to take in you know example of uh, lens cart the who thought that you know you can put a glass okay prescriptive frame on your on your you know face and see it on the on the screen so it's making the whole landscape very very realistic okay you can just put a glass and see how your new house is going to be so all these are influencing the decisions iot right uh, i think the data driven decisions are a lot impacted by iot real time inventory management okay on shelves uh, your stock is getting over auto replenishment orders are being fi you know fired to the warehouses the stocks are getting replenished you know the customers much more cyber security i can't stress more right the customers are giving their data to us we have to ensure that we follow all the protocols in the legal framework and otherwise take some advanced precautions and ensure that we are keeping the customer data as much as possible not as much as possible 100% you know confidential or okay, can follow all the government rules which are there and try to see that in advance we are prepared for it right i think uh, uh, anurag spoke a lot about sustainability uh, there's nothing more we have to create this world keep this world for for the future generation okay we do a lot of things uh, at tata also okay i don't want to get into details but yes you know with advancement in technologies there is a responsible or other responsibility on tech to ensure that okay, there is enough and more being done for the sustainability so to conclude i just want to say that you know for brands it's very important to understand the confluence of online and offline as a channel ensure that you know you or other we all give a similar experience uh, to the customers okay in whichever way they are visiting take care of their data uh, be extremely good uh, with their customer service do a lot of personalization uh, you know give a lot of discovery to them and uh, i actually open the whole day for all of us Uh, with lot of tech interventions being talked about thank you so much have a good day